everybody. My name is Sherry. Welcome to my stamp studio. Um, this week, I have a super busy week. And today, my goal is, if I can, I am going to try to get at least five, maybe six tutorials filmed. And it works out perfectly because my theme this month has been, I've been showing you the bundles that are on sale as part of our bundle sale. But my overall theme before I even really knew that there was a bundle sale was quick and easy summer cards. So it really helps when I'm going to try to show you a bunch of tutorials that they're quick and easy. Um, because I want to get as many of those done for the bundle sale as I can today. And then I have to get my card club filmed. I have a tutorial um, that, that I do that is not filmed. So I just have to take pictures of it that I do with demonstrators from around the world. And then I wanna move on to online exclusives because we leave um, on Thursday for vacation. So I my June wraps up <laughs> in just a couple days and I have my in-person event um, tomorrow. And then I have a demonstrator event on, well, it's friends. On Wednesday so I really have two days to work this week um, so I have a, I have high hopes of getting a lot done so I'm really glad that my theme for this um, and I also have to film did I say film card card club so I got a lot to do card club is packed up for those of you in it normally it's in the mail by the 26 it's gonna be in the mail way early it's packed up I don't have it the addresses or anything I'm waiting for the stamp sets to arrive um, but that's done so yeah, <laughs> it's going to be a week. It's actually 7 o'clock. I still have my coffee here. 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm getting an early start. So these quick and easy cards are a lifesaver. So if you have missed a couple, this one I posted over the weekend. I know it's hit or miss when I post a tutorial on my YouTube channel on the weekend because I don't do it often. So I think the algorithm is like, what are you doing? Um, and I think some of you don't know to expect it. But this one is the To Market bundle. It's super cute and it, per it works perfectly for both summer and the quick and easy um, as today's does as well. And then this one I posted last week. It's the Spotlight on Nature. I don't think that bundle will be back in time for the special, but I know a lot of you, um, a lot of my customers got it before um, when the catalog was first new, so I know you already have it. So those um, are up in case you missed it. Today, you'll have to come back because today is actually a camp card, so we will be doing it at my in-person camp, but we're also gonna do it, you know, I, it, lots of purposes. When you're busy, you gotta make things work more than once. So on Wednesday, when I get together with my friends, we get together once a month, and this year we decided that we are going to work our way through these little um, templates here, these little card sketches that they've put in the catalog. So this is our third time getting together to do this since the catalog came out. So we've done these two. So if you come back after we've been together, I will be able to show you the ones I create from the ones they bring. So today I'm going to do this little template right here. If it wasn't super busy, I would look through the catalog and find out the other ones. So there's a little game you can play is to find this little sketch because there may be other times in here and Stampin' Up! has put the little sketches up in the corner of samples where they've done it. So I'm going to do that one. And I am using, and I'm going to use it again because um, Lily Pond Lane. So I'm going to use the Charming Duck Pond bundle. This die right here is beautiful, as are all of the little duck builders. They didn't go with my quick and easy, especially when I want to do as many cards as I did today. Um, they just take a little bit more time, and I needed my card today be, to be super quick and super easy. So it also will um, bode well for my camp girls that come tomorrow, because they'll be able to get in super quick and out super, super. Um, camp never takes a, a long time, but it will help. So you can see this stamp bundle, and last I looked, which was last week, all of the ones I'm featuring for the rest of the bundle sale were still in stock. That doesn't mean that it couldn't change, but they were in stock. So you can two-step stamp them. I'm just going to use the tiny little frog, because he's cute as can be, and you could add this, which would make it a little bit quicker, but the card's so quick as it is that I didn't need to. These are the dies I'm not using, and it's this piece here that does that frame that is so super fun. So I will revisit it um, before summer's over. So if you get it, don't worry. We'll come back and um, use it again and make it not so quick. And it's still gonna be quick and it's gonna be beautiful. But today, when I'm gonna do this many things, I'll have time to use all those pieces. So we're just gonna use some of the um, 
cattails, one of the little lily pads, and then we're gonna cut our frog out. And actually the cattail cuts two, and I only needed one. Um, so I already have one of the cattails cut out. You could put it in the inside of your card. And then I'm gonna use the, the paper, which I have an odd assortment of the paper left because you know I do the Try It class when the new catalog comes out. And to make the Try It class work this time, I needed certain pieces of the paper. So I have lots of weird, uh, pieces of some paper left. It's really pretty. The color combination is gorgeous. Um, I haven't come up yet with the card for the, I think it's called the cutest onesie. It's still in my stack. I'm going to do that while some of these download. I have two sets left. Um, but I think I'm going to use this piece here for the cutest onesie. So it's a fun pack of paper. I love the color combination. So I'm going to use that. So you saw on the template, it was three strips of paper and then a little circle. So I'm just going to do white because it, it sets itself off really well with the paper. And then also because of my try it glass, I have an odd assortment of ribbon left and I haven't really replenished my ribbon. So on my sample, I have a piece of the pretty in pink. For the rest of it, we're gonna have to use peach pie because I made my first sample with the pretty in pink and then I didn't look at my stuff and I don't have any more. I just had a piece left that I cut on my desk. So I have my card and then if you noticed, they had three panels. So I have cut these, they're one and a quarter. Um, I don't, so this would be five and a half. So they're a little bit less than five and a half. Um, my other ones I did a little bit shorter. I mean, they're just over maybe one and an eighth. And when I was done, I thought I could see a little bit more of the paper and a little less white. So here's what I'm gonna show you two different looks. The first time I did it, I did one and an eighth. These are one and a quarter. And the first time I did it, because there was a little bit more white showing, I ran it through this new birch folder. So I'm gonna give everybody their choice. They can either trim some of this off or they can, and then run it through here, or you can just see more paper. For this card, we're gonna see more paper and not run it through there, cause time. And then look, some of the backs, this has dragonflies. It's this piece here that I was really torn because um, the dragonflies are cute, but look, this one, I was like, I got ready to glue it. This is the way that I had it. And then I flipped it and I'm like, oh, that's so dang cute. I don't remember what's on the back of this one. That one was an easy choice because I like the cattails. So I went back and forth. Like, do we want all the lily pads or do we want, I mean, the lilies or the lily pads? It's, it's hard when the papers are so cute. So I'm gonna end up going you do these quick and easy cards and then it takes forever to decide which side of the cute little paper you want. So I have a strip of paper here. I'm gonna do my circle. And this is the two inch circle punch because I have the two and three eighths out and it covered up too much of the cute paper. So just punch this out. And then I have the happy birthday. Um, but I couldn't get it, it fits on here, which was my original intent, but I couldn't get it to go on there. And I ran this through, which like I said, gave me two cattails, so I already have one. And when I put it on here, it covered up the happy birthday. And I, I was going for simple, so I wasn't gonna color it. I liked the white. I liked the only thing being colored was my little froggy. So I just inked up the happy. And I'm just gonna stamp the happy up here. You could do this with a marker, it's a little bit easier. But I had already had my black pad sitting here because I tried it, just stamping it and then tried to make it work. And then you wanna clean this off. Make sure it's nice and dry. And then you just wanna stamp the birthday. This one's pretty easy. If it's a little bit more if the words are closer together, you might wanna use some washi tape. This one's pretty easy to just get the words that you want. You do need to make sure that your other word is dry, otherwise it'll leave a faint. You could sometimes get that in there. So now we have that and we can get our cattails on there. Oops, and then I have my tiny little froggy because he's so tiny. Um, 
A lot of times if you want to do quick and easy, it's the coloring that gets you. I'm going to do the TV um, card so you'll get to see that one. It's adorable. Let me film it right after this one. And I did color the TV, so I made myself color it real fast. <laughs> it's not a whole lot of shading. But I went with three colors. So I have Old Olive, Lemon Lime Twist, and Pretty and Peacock, and I just chose those colors right out of the papers. So let's do the Lemon Lime Twist because it is the lightest shade, and I just colored them super quick with the Wink of Stella. So I did Lemon Lime Twist. Got one of those. Sometimes the hairs in the middle of the Wink of Stella start to come out. It's right here in the middle and I'm just going to let the ink come off and that will be my shading and then old olive will go from lightest to darkest and that way we don't even have to spend time cleaning off our Stella The first time I did it, I the actual frog, I thought I kept it. I can see in a second. I did, I did the frog in the lemon lime twist and did the middle olive. It looked much better to do it this way. So the brighter part was her belly. And then let's do her lily pad in the peacock. And I intentionally left some of the um, olive, like I didn't clean it off because I wanted a little bit. That gives you a little bit of shading kind of on the lily pad without having to do anything. And again, just don't clean it off. And then you get some shading like that without having to work for it. Get any peacock off there in case you do a light color. And then you can see there's a little dye that will cut her out. And then there's a dye that does, I started to do, you can see there's a one that does three lily pads. And then there's lily pads and cattails also that are included on this. Then there's some of the flowers. There's little flowers. There's a lot you can do. And I, remember, I was like, simple, you're doing simple. Plus I did these last night on Sunday night and it was getting late. It was Father's Day and I typically don't work on the weekends, but when you're going on vacation and you're self-employed, sometimes you got to do what you got to do, right? So it was easier to keep it simple when it was late and I needed to finish up. So when we cut these out, um, I would cut these out, except like I said, it gave me two. Now, if you're making your own card and at camp and when the girls do it on Wednesday, I will just have them do two and we'll glue one inside the card. Let me run these through my um, cut and emboss. So the reason they have a false front is because the way the ribbon is tied around the card. Anytime you just have a um, mount your stuff straight onto a card front, it limits the way that you can add ribbon. It also makes your card a little bit sturdier. Mm -mm. Both of my, look, I have two of these on my desk and both are showing red. This one's dangerously showing red. I'm gonna put it right there on top so I remember to swap that over. Now I'm going to, ah, <laughs> this side of the paper is so pretty. So what I'm going to do, because these are a little bit wider now than my others, I'm going to start with the one that I'm going to put in the middle, which there's only one that has cattails. So I'm going to put it in the middle because it's a little bit different. I'm going to put it towards the top because that is, I think is how they had it in the, in the template. And then this one has the lily pads. It's kind of the simpler of the two. So I'm going to put it here. I started with the middle one because then I can do middle and then I can center this here. And I never press down until I make sure that they are where I want them to be. And now I can center this between these two. And as long as you got that first one pretty much in the center, then it makes this a little bit easier to center then they're pretty good there's enough going on on this card that it doesn't have to be perfect okay now I'm going to tie a bow so this card's going to have a different look than the first one because I've got a different color ribbon 
um, the paper is wider and we'll see which one we like better and then that's how I'll decide which one they do when I actually let people make this card. So just my bow's pretty tiny on the first one because like I said I used a piece of ribbon that was just already cut and laying on my desk from another project that was left. But you also this little girl's tiny so you don't want the ribbon to like overwhelm your tiny little frog right? So get your ribbon nice and tiny and when you do a tiny ribbon you kind of just keep pulling it until you get it smaller which then always makes your line your um, length longer than you want it to be so usually then it gets end up flipping opposite than what you the direction that you were starting does that make sense okay that looks pretty good Now we have something to attach our ribbon to. There's my circle. So our circle's gonna go here. I'm gonna pull my ribbon. You don't have, you can, um, like you don't have to lay your ribbon on a card and just make it be like, well, that's how my ribbon is. You can glue your ribbon to make your ribbon be cute. So I want it to be right here. So grab this and this is where I want it to be. And now I'm going to work this. So this sticks up so it doesn't get buried under there. So I'm gonna hold that up. I must have got caught the edge of that when I punched my circle. And then before I mount everything on, just go ahead and make sure that this is lying the way that you want it to lie. Because you can glue your ribbon on there. And then I'm going to kind of poke this back open. And then you have a cute little ribbon. That was way more ribbon than I needed on the backs, but that's okay. It's the same then as if I had tied it and put it there. See what I mean? I caught, I didn't get the hole in the thing. I didn't even notice that. We can cover that up. Okay, and then this is cut five and a half by four. I wanted it to be obvious. If you're gonna put the um, false front on, sometimes you can put the whole front on so people don't know. But for this one, I thought I'm just gonna go ahead and have a little bit of a border. So it's only a border on the edges but not top, not these edges, but not top to bottom. Then you're gonna need some glue for your cattails because they're pretty skinny. These would be perfect, a perfect one for the adhesive sheets. There's not a lot of waste. I can't stand to use adhesive sheets on something where, like the basket that I did the other day with the tomatoes when a ton of stuff falls out of them. And then put this in here. You need to make sure you're not covering up the happy birthday that we just took all that time to nicely put in there. And then let's see for this little guy. On the other one, he's kind of, uh, I put the lily pad a little higher up, but we might be able to cover up my poorly punched circle. Perfect. It's a little lower than I might have put it otherwise. And then let's grab a dimensional. So on the first time I used the tiny ones because she looks so tiny, but it took three, which leads me to believe that I could use one big one, except I think I've packed them all in buckets. I'll we'll grab a new one. It's been going on. She looks so tiny. So I thought oh, she's gonna need the baby dimensionals. And then I just peeled off three, which is not super quick. It's easy, but I was going for quick. Just kind of add her in her little pond. And then these may be on unavailable. So some, just take a, a second to discuss Stampin' Up! Sweets. Stampin' Up! gives us the ability to purchase sweets, which is funny. Several years ago, my friend and I were talking to one of the VPs at Stampin' Up! And we were at a Stampin' Up! event. 
where we could order a lot of new stuff. And we're like, it would be easy if we had an easy button. It was when Staples was into the easy button. And we're like, just give us one number where we can order it all. And so they did that. A couple of years later, we had sweets. And it was fabulous. Except now, when any part of a sweet is not available, then the whole order number does not work. So a lot of times, especially when um, it's the paper or the embellishment or the ribbon, um, and it's happening now during the bundle sales, you all are like, this is not available. And it's not that the bundle is not available, it's that the paper or the ribbon or the embellishments are not available. And so you think that you can't get the bundle. You have to check the actual stamps and die bundle because you only get the discount on the stamps and die bundle. The suite itself is the easy button. It just makes it easy to order the whole thing. But if one piece is not available, then obviously you can't get it because the suite's not available. But you only get the discount on a stamp and die bundle. And you only get a discount on a stamp and die bundle the year that it comes out, the year that it's introduced. Um, so I hope that helps a little bit. So right now I think that this... I think this suite's probably not available because I think these are currently not available. Um, but the stamps and dies are, at least when I last looked on the catalog. But for those of you that are my customers, a lot of you got these as your thank you gift in May. So I know a lot of you have them. They're the dappled dots. And I love that they have an actual different name. My other one, I don't have them all right here, but it's because this was spaced up a little bit because I wasn't trying to cover that up. So if you ever just go to the suite, and it, it also doesn't help, and I have tried to stop. Sometimes when I put the little order things on my blog, I put the suite. Again, because it's easy. Instead of me trying to find every each and everything I used on my card, I put the suite. Um, and then it's like, oh, that's not available. So I've been trying to not do that anymore. Um but just search for the actual things that you want in the suite. You can look for the suite first, and then if it is, that's great. But So here, let's take a look at the difference. This one has um, more of the beautiful paper. This, and then obviously, different color ribbons. This one, you can see where I used the folder and just a little bit thinner paper. I don't know that if you gave it to anybody that they would ever even notice the difference. So this one's a little bit quicker and a little bit easier because we eliminated a whole step of having to take this over and run it through the folder. So I think that we'll be doing this one when I have friends here that are making multiple projects because eliminating one whole step um, is fun, but it's a really adorable little suite. So on to my next project and I'll catch you back here later. Have a great one, bye.